What's crack? Welcome to episode one of Backers. Uh, I'm very privileged to have Jen Butterworth here um, for episode one. We're going to play a couple of reels, uh, B minor and D, the ale is dear and trip to the market. One, two, So, Jen. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming on this TV series kind of thing. No worries. Facebook series. Um, so I basically wanted to do this because there are so many amazing companies in Glasgow uh, with such a very uh, varied of styles, um, and I wanted to find out a bit more about each individual person's style and where they got it from. So, like, where did you where did you grow up? Like, who were your um, kind of major influences? Growing up? Uh, good question. Uh, so I grew up in Dumfries and Galloway and right. I used to play quite a lot of music with my parents and stuff so it was kind of quite a lot of older sort of Irish material I guess down in Dumfries and Galloway that I was playing and um, I used to play the fiddle. I learned the fiddle when I was like 11 yeah, that's um, right. and I played that for maybe a few years and I sort of I quite enjoyed singing and I thought that I wanted to maybe find a way of of, um, of playing playing guitar along with it and stuff. So my dad had a guitar in the house, and with my knowledge that I had from the fiddle already, yeah. I kind of I picked up the guitar and and then started just like learning chord boxes from the back of like songbooks and stuff. And then um, I wrote out the guitar neck on a sheet of paper once, and um, and started looking at where all the chords were on the guitar neck. Right, yeah. And so I kind of got a wee bit curious about that. So I guess that's that was my starting point of of playing the guitar was just trying to work it out for myself. I guess um, when I was a wee bit younger, uh, John Doyle visited um, Wigtown, which is like a, a place near where I grew up, uh, with Solace. And I remember watching him and being like, that is really cool. Um, and I really enjoyed the rhythmic side of it and stuff. So yeah, I kind of took a wee bit of influence from there, but mainly just exploring stuff in my own head. Yeah. And seeing what happened. So did the prior knowledge of like, knowing tunes on the fiddle, how does that influence you as a as an accompanist as well? It, it helped a huge amount. I never played tunes on the guitar. Um, I, I was maybe about 22 or something when I started really playing tunes on the guitar, so it, was, it took me a long time to come to that, but when I was a kid I had a, a keyboard and I used to work out like um, like what was a happy sounding chord and what was a sad sounding chord, so I had all these sort of feelings about harmony and, and curiosity about it, but definitely playing the tunes and kind of knowing what I thought and um, what I felt like was going to happen along with them in my head. That's sort of what I wanted to transfer to the guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe spent quite a lot of the time playing tricks, you know, like sort of like wee chord runs that would maybe fit a little bit with a tune in G or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then slowly over the years, as I got to know more tunes and as I, I had more um, access to, to different chords and stuff in my head, it became easier for me to improvise what I feel more is that is the right chord that fits the tune as opposed to just a run that I'd learned because that was the only thing I could play in G or whatever. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So just finished we've just finished Kelly Connections and you are literally like one of the busiest people um, <laughs> in the in the sort of trad scene. So you're in Canaris Quintet, mm -hmm. you uh, back for Ryan Young, yep. an amazing fiddle player. Um, tell us more about that and, and everything else that you're doing. Yeah so I had um, gigs with the two of them, a gig with Laura Beth Salter who's a Maslin player as well. Um, I play guitar for Ross Ainsley and Ellie Hutton and I was also playing for Claire Hastings and each one of those gigs is entirely different and I guess I, I sort of play a different way for each one as well. Mm -hmm. So um, so Canaris Quintet and, and my project with Laura Beth are the two that, that are my own kind of creative output I guess and it's very much my style and it's what I really really want to play that goes into those. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a, a reflection of that which is great fun. But Ryan Young's really interesting because there's a lot of stuff that he doesn't like me doing that I would do so I, yeah. yeah. So so I have to play so chord runs and things that I would play in the Canaris quintet or rhythmic ideas and stuff, 
there's a lot of stuff that Ryan, with complete respect to me, totally like. Is, he'll go, Jen, see next time. See that chord that you played in like the, the second beat part of the, the real the third reel or whatever. Could you just not do that one again? Because <laughs> he's got a real idea of, of what he feels harmonically yeah. as well, which which yeah. I think is really cool. And I took quite a long time when we started playing together to not get frustrated about it because I was like, this isn't representing me. It's I'm sort of doing a job for for somebody else, but. But then that's the beauty of being a, a, an accompanist yeah. and a guitarist. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm more of a musician to be able to uh, back other person's style, but also like do your own kind of yeah, thing as and, well. and have a little bit of a bit of that, but also yeah, and um, so do do what you think the other person yeah, yeah. wants you to do as well. Um, I find that so fascinating. And you've just released uh, your new album with. Or, uh, yeah, relatively yeah, good yeah, with yeah, um, yeah. Canaris yeah. and it's absolutely amazing. Oh, cheers. Um, so yeah, have you got much planned for the for the rest of the year with Canaris? Yeah, yeah, we do. I we've got some festivals coming in. It's it's tricky because I've got like sort of five regular bands or whatever that I'm working with. Yeah. Actually, it's kind of one of the literally one of the busiest. People. It's, it's crazy and it's like a wee bit of a source of anxiety because I'm trying to give enough of my time to all of the things that I do. Plus, work in the conservatoire as well. So it's like how how do I spend my time That's doing really, that? Yeah. So, but, but Canaris being, being one of my main priorities, we're off to Shetland and Orkney, and um, which my liver is going to completely survive. Uh, and I've got Kalin Festival as well, and there's some smaller sort of um, like local gigs that we're trying to do too. So that'll be really nice because really we've, we've only done big festival stages so far, so it'd be nice. Which to is not a bad start. Then. I know it's pretty amazing. Right. Well, thank you so much for uh, for me. chatting to me. Um, all of Jen's. Uh, links to bands, website and stuff will be um, in the description of the video. And um, yeah, thanks very much and see you in the next episode.